Law of Attraction. Today I want to talk a little bit about the Law of Attraction. We all have sort of a basic understanding of Law of Attraction. I think we all want to create things into our life. Most of us are sort of looking to create relationships or new houses or different jobs. There's so many things. It's an endless list of things that we want to create into our lives. And sometimes we're not quite sure of the process of sort of how to go about this and we can all lose our way in creating these things. Um, often we think you just put your thoughts on things and then they'll create and just come into your life. But we actually have to, it's a little bit more complex than that. You have to actually put your thoughts on these things, start to feel these things in your body and then release them to the universe and just trust and know that these things will actually come to you. Sometimes we all get um, a bit caught up, we're all a bit guilty of getting caught up in the releasing because sometimes in that letting go people have a lot of fears that by letting go of things they're not going to come back to them and that's not often the case, often that's the case of resist, causing resistance for things to actually flow to you. So you've got to kind of be aware of the process and how it actually works. Um, today I just want to talk a little bit about a tool that I use which is called um, The Secret which I know a lot of you out there have probably already heard of The Secret. It's a great video. I think you can get it in a book form as well. But it's an amazing tool to just get you back to basics of understanding the law of attraction. In here they have some amazing examples and it's actually fun viewing because it, it shows you how to actually do these things, how to put your thoughts on something, how to release them and how to actually trust and know that these things are going to come into your life. So if, do yourself a favour. I'd be going and purchasing The Secret and um, I'd be going back to that and watching that. I hadn't watched it for a number of years and I actually just pulled it out the other day because I was a bit stuck myself and it just reminded me of just the process of Law of Attraction and what I need to do to actually get my skills back on it again when I'm trying to create things. Another example um, is there's a great book and I'm not quite sure if it's on a video, it's probably on YouTube by Esther Hicks and it's called Ask and It Is Given and it's also got some amazing processes in it of how to create and how to just ask and expect things to happen in, in your life and look to be honest the biggest part of all this is really trusting in the universe to deliver these things to you that you've kind of asked for or that you've put your thoughts onto and just, just relax in that knowing and it's about trusting and believing that these things will come into your life. So do yourself a favour Go and get the secret. I think you'll find that that will really help you to move forward at times when you're feeling stuck or you're at a crossroads in your life and just start getting back to basics because sometimes it's by getting back to basics that you can really help your life to expand and you can really help yourself to grow and to move forward. So law of attraction, it definitely exists. It's all about the energy that you're emitting and you know, you, you know that actually is a fact because sometimes when you're having a really um, bad day, you just seem to attract into strange situations and people that are a bit negative or, you know, that's an example of that attraction as well. Whereas if you're having a really good day, you get people in your life that make you feel really upbeat and you have really good things seem to just keep unfolding and that's an example of law of attraction. So it definitely is about the energy that you're emitting. So try and focus on these things and try and shift these energies inside you. But use the tools that'll help you to do that. Bye.